Senate Deputy Minority Leader Rison Taveros files a resolution urging the palace to cooperate with the International Criminal Court or ICC and assist in its investigation into the bloody drug war of the Duterte administration. In Senate Resolution No. 867, the senator maintains that the country's withdrawal from the Rome Statute should not affect any cooperation with the International Tribunal. The opposition lawmaker stresses that the administration should affirm its commitment in advancing humanitarian law and international justice. She also dismisses claims that her move is politically motivated. Hindi timing sa House, hindi timing sa away ng kung sino-sino, pero pitong taon, pitong taon nang humihingi ng uh, hustisya ang mga pamilya ng EJ case. But Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa is dismayed with Honteverus' move. De la Rosa spearheaded the Oplan Tokang during his stint as the Philippine National Police Chief under the administration of former President Rodrigo Duterte. He also earlier tagged himself as the number two accused in the ICC probe. Yung, yung timing ba naman kung kailan na uh, mayroong gusot between the Dutertes and the uh, Speaker of the House sa kapanaglabasan niya mga resolusyon na yan, Kung talagang sinsiro sila sa kanilang gusto no, na papasokin ang uh, ICC, why did it take one and a half year bago nila ma-realize na, uy, kailangan pala talaga nating papasokin ang ICC. For presidential sister, Senator Amy Marcos, those who are urging the government to work with the ICC are looking for trouble. Talagang basag ulo to. So they're really looking for trouble. But uh, President Duterte has said repeatedly, bring it on. Para sa akin, ang totoo, desisyon nito ng ehekutibo. Ibig sabihin ang ading ko si Presidente na paulit-ulit nang sinabi na hindi papapasukin ang ICC. Sangayon po ako doon. Wala pong naghahanap ng trouble. Ang pinakamalaking trouble sa lahat ay yung trouble na ibinagsak sa ulo at buhay ng mga balo at ulila ng extrajudicial killings ng war on drugs. Marcus adds she is willing to tackle the resolution if time permits, should it be referred to the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations, which she chairs. Another committee that the resolution might be referred to is the Committee on Justice and Human Rights, headed by another Duterte ally, Senator Francis Tolentino. Despite this, Hontaveros hopes for a fair hearing on the resolution and for her colleagues to reach a consensus on the matter. For his part, Senate President Juan Miguel Migzubiri believes the decision is now up to President Ferdinand and Marcus Jr. and not to the senators whether the Philippines should re-enter the ICC. The Senate leader refuses to comment on the issue and will just wait for the president's decision. Jorge Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.